In this video, you are gonna learn exactly how to retarget like a Facebook ad expert and learn the two most important retargeting ad angles that you can use today to increase your sales. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before this video starts, I do have some news for everybody. So basically, Instagram contacted me the other day and they said, Ethan, we have some news. We decided to shut down your Instagram account. You know, you had a copyright claim. We're not gonna tell you what piece of content it was. We're not just going to delete that piece of content. In fact, we're gonna do something a little bit better. We're gonna delete your whole entire Instagram account because you're giving out too much value. Too many secrets are being revealed. All these gurus are going out of business, so we can't have that. Ethan, 26,000 followers, 600 posts, poof, it's gone. I've had four days to process that reality and it sucks. It sucks balls to be honest. And it's one of those things where I can just keep on groveling or I can move forward. I've filled out every form imaginable. I've not had one word from the support of Facebook. They are notorious for having the worst support ever. I've just been completely in the dark, wolves over my eyes. And I guess it is time to move on. So I have decided to create a new Instagram account, Real Ethan Dobbins, because I keep it real. Hopefully this one doesn't get shut down. Uh, it would be just uh, another straw that uh, broke the camel's back in that case, but it's tough. It really is. But if you guys can do this poor old hermit a favor and follow him on Instagram, I would appreciate it. The link is in the description. You guys are really going to enjoy this video. It's just uh, you know, hard times for your boy, but um, I'm not going to continue with this somber crap because I am generally a happy guy. I don't like to wallow in self-pity but you know uh got a new adventure on our hands got to rebuild this back up to its original glory what is popping everybody my name is ethan dobbins if you're new around here and i cannot wait for this video because retargeting is by far one of the most profitable things you can do with your business yet so many dropshippers neglect this it doesn't make any sense because the more familiar someone is with your brand the more likely they are to buy that's just the mere exposure effect it's science guys you gotta know how to use it i remember when i was a kid watching cartoon network or like nickelodeon and you would always see the same five commercials every single time because they knew the more and more times they showed that amazing product that got you so hyped when you were a kid the more likely you were to tell your parents hey guys it's only two payments of $19.99. This is a steal. We need to get in and I need to buy this from Toys R Us. That was truly advertising at its finest, but unfortunately now Jeff the Giraffe is dead. Now when it comes to just retargeting and marketing in general, it usually takes about seven contact points for your customer to actually buy from you. And I know for me, for instance, I don't usually buy a product after seeing it one time. It usually takes about two, three, four times. You gotta warm me up a little bit. I'm not gonna marry you without getting a few dates first in between. Because for real, when you're asking people to buy from you after the first time meeting, it is a little bit like asking them to marry you. They have to trust you, they have to buy from you even though they don't know that much about you. So you have to be retargeting to them. You have to show them multiple examples about why you're a trustworthy brand for them to actually purchase from. But before we get into the whole entire retargeting blueprint, I need you guys to slap that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new around here because you already know I'm about to deliver that sauce for you. So let's get into it right now. Now, if you're new around here, I highly recommend checking out my entire Facebook ad strategy video, which is a 30 minute tutorial on exactly how I structure my campaigns from the beginning original campaign all the way up to lookalikes and CBOs. But now we need to get a little more specific and just focus on our retargeting. Now, when we're getting to retargeting, what you're gonna do is have a campaign. You know, every great thing starts with a campaign. But what type of campaign do we want and what are our audiences going to be? Well, with this campaign, you're going to be doing a CBO and the budget depends on how much you're willing to play with. If you have a winning product that's getting you sales, I do recommend doing $100 because whenever you do retargeting, you should be doing it for a winning product. So we're going to move our campaign up here. Now, what you're going to do after this CBO at $100 is you're going to have some audiences. But which audiences do we want? Well, if you're running a video ad, that gives you more data about your customer and that's perfect for Facebook retargeting. So what you can do in that instance is have 75% video views. Now, if you're a beginner and you don't know what that means, don't worry. Basically, if you're running a video ad and it's a 10 second ad, that means if someone watches seven seconds, so 75% 
of the actual video, then they are in your 75% video view audience because they watch 75%. And with Facebook, you also get a 95% video view audience. So these are people that most likely watch the whole entire ad. These are the exact audiences you wanna focus on with your e-commerce businesses retargeting. So with Facebook ads, if you are running a video ad like we talked about, you can do 75% video views, 95% video views, and then after that, what your biggest audience is usually gonna be is page engagement. So these are people that have seen your page, they've interacted with it by liking, commenting, or sharing, and then you have page views, so people that have come to your website, so clearly they're interested because they clicked on your ad, but they didn't buy for whatever reason. Then we just go down the funnel, you got add to carts, you got initiate checkouts, and then top 25% by time spent on your website. I know I can't draw straight lines, guys. You know, I'm not an artist, I'm not Pablo Picasso. You know what, I'll give you credit if in the comments down below, you can just name one living artist today. Because I can't do it, and I know you can't either. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven audiences, and I don't recommend going above seven audiences when you're doing retargeting, especially with CBOs, because with CBOs, the more audiences you have, the least likely it is to actually become successful. So if you limit it to about, I would say five to seven audiences, that's really the sweet spot when it comes to CBOs. So when we're doing retargeting and we have a CBO set up at a $100 budget, we have our seven audiences here, so video views, page engagement, page view, add to cart, initiate checkout, top 25% by time spent, what should we do with our ads? Well, there are two amazing marketing angles that work the best when you're retargeting, and that is tackling the main objections people will have. Now, the two main objections people will have, and this is what we have to address with our retargeting ads, is the price is too high and you don't have enough trust. So what can we do to actually tackle those objections? So these are the two best angles you can take when you're doing retargeting with Facebook ads. So now that we know the main objection that people will always have, no matter what you're selling, is the price is too high, what you can do in a retargeting ad is simply just show a new version, so a new video, a new clip of your product, but in the ad copy, you give them a discount code. So you say, hey, save 10%, using discount code, I don't know. So you wanna make it specific to your business. You can just do save 10, honestly. So using discount code, save 10 on your first order. So a first order discount. This works extremely well if someone's never shopped before on your website. So you can just do a normal ad copy talking about the product and then you say, hey, at the bottom, save 10% off using discount code SAVE10 on your first order. And you would be so surprised how well this one sentence works at converting people. And don't worry, later on in this video, we're actually gonna make a retargeting ad in front of your eyes just to show you exactly what that would look like. So now that we've addressed the first objection that the price is too high, the next objection is always gonna be, hey, I don't trust your brand, I don't trust your website. That's an objection everyone gets because usually when you're advertising and someone sees your brand for the first time, they're not just gonna immediately trust you. So what can we do in our retargeting to make them trust us? Well, what you can do is show them a retargeting ad where it's just a testimonial from one of your happy customers talking about your product. So you can have a picture slash video testimonial of your product. So it can be somebody wearing your clothing, somebody using your product and having a good time. And then with the ad copy, all you are doing is just copy and pasting their review. It's so simple, so effective, and I cannot tell you how much this works because if you're somebody who doesn't trust a brand, but then you see somebody who's unbiased, who's just somebody who shopped there and gave them the money, have a good time and actually see the effectiveness of this product, then they're gonna be more likely to buy from you. This is just the bandwagon effect. If I see somebody having a good time using your product, I'm more likely to try it out because I see, oh my gosh, they're actually using it and it works for them. So I should probably try it out as well. So hopefully you guys are getting a better understanding of what to do with retargeting. So you have a CBO at $100 a day. You have your seven audiences. So video view, page engagement, page view, add to cart, initiate checkout, top 25% by time spent. And then with your retargeting ads, you're gonna show them about two to four ads. And in those two to four ads, you are gonna handle the main two objections people are gonna have, which is your price is too high. 
So with the price is too high, we give them a discount code saying, hey, save 10% off using discount code save 10 on your first order. And then, hey, I don't trust your website. I've just seen your ad. So what we do in a retargeting ad is show them a testimonial of one of our happy customers using our product. And that is the most effective way to retarget to your audience. Hopefully your mind is just going like right now. I know if I was learning this as a complete beginner when I first started, I would just be losing my shit right now because no one ever explains that guys, you know, with some aspects of dropshipping, they can be pretty easy. Like if you just follow this to a T, just do testimonial of your product, do a discount code, try out both angles, you are inevitably going to have one retargeting creative that works for you. Retargeting should always be profitable because you're targeting a warm audience, people that are familiar with your brand. So if you follow these ad angles, they will work, but you might have to tweak them a little bit, try out different discount codes, different percentages, different testimonials to see what people are most receptive to. All right, everybody. So now we get into the meat and potatoes of everything. So we're right now in the campaign of one of my ad accounts. And let's say, for instance, we're doing retargeting for this product right here. Just a modern deer head. It's pretty cool looking, you know, maybe if that's not your vibe, it's not your vibe. But I think it looks super futuristic, like it's from the year 2050 or something. Wouldn't that be awesome if there was like cyborg deers, just deers that were just completely robot and metal? Oh my god, that would be badass. So what you're going to do, you can just do retargeting, deer, head, whatever you want to do. And then I like to do the BEP. So BEP stands for how much you make per sale. So BEP, I think it's like 35, I don't really know. And then you're going to do CBO turned on at $100 a day. So we're going to continue. Now, if you are a complete beginner that just had no clue what I was talking about earlier on or just doesn't know how to create those audiences, then I have you covered. Basically, what you're going to want to do is go to the Audiences tab of Facebook. So right here, you'll have the little audiences. It's different for everybody. Facebook loves to just fuck around with the menu and uh, test out different looks. And what you're going to do is go to Create a Custom Audience. Now, to do 75% video views, you're going to do Video and you're gonna select the ad that you are showing to people. So you do 75%, it'll ask you to choose a video, so you choose the ad that's been getting a lot of the engagement, and then you'll just do seven days. So that's one thing I forgot to talk about or forgot to mention. You're gonna to wanna to do a seven day window for all the audiences. So let's say for instance, I just choose this one right here. I know it's not the same product, but it's whatever. So we'll do 75% video views and then you want to be specific about the product so we'll just do deer head so that you actually know which audience this is because when you're doing retargeting for multiple products it can get a little bit confusing so you want to stay organized now to do the other audiences uh, i'm not going to go over all of them but let's just say right here so we'll go to create audience create custom audience so one of them i believe after this after 75 percent and 95 percent is going to be page view and page engagement so for page engagement you're just doing Instagram account, everyone who engaged with your account over the last seven days. So that's how you're gonna create that audience. Uh, to do page view, you're gonna go to website, you're gonna do page view, refined by URL. So this is where you're gonna copy the URL of your product. So let's go here, copy that. And then you're gonna paste. And then you'll name this audience page view, deer head. God, I can't spell today. Deerhead seven days bada bing bada boom that easy but we are still not done because i really want to make sure all of you have these audiences down so if you already know what you're doing you can skip a little bit later on but if you're new don't worry so for add to carts you'll see right here add to cart initiate checkout so you got those audiences down pat you can refine by url i don't ever do that i just do add to cart and then initiate checkout and then finally for top 25 percent time spent you're just gonna do visitors by time spent, top 25%, seven days, bada bing, bada boom. You can do a specific web page. That's actually what I like to do. We'll just paste the URL, and then you'll do top 25%, deer head, seven days. Simple as that, so easy, even a toddler could do it. All right, so getting back to your CBO campaign, you're gonna select purchase, 
and we're gonna scroll on down to our audience now you're not gonna select anything here so what you're gonna do go to custom audiences 75% so we'll name this ad set 75% you know we want to stay organized everybody knows the neat freaks if you have OCD this is like your dream right now for locations you need to know what you're doing with your targeting if you're doing worldwide just do worldwide because all it's doing is then retargeting everybody that's seen 75% of your video which you want to be doing so I just do worldwide age you leave blank gender leave blank interest leave blank detail targeting you can actually leave it on that's totally fine and then for placements I like to do just the main feeds you can do automatic placements if that's something that's worked for you but for me the feeds always work the best so I'm gonna just do the Facebook news feed unselect Instagram and then Instagram feed so we have the top two feeds nothing else and we are gonna continue to our actual ad all right so what we're gonna do is have four different ads now we're gonna follow the same two ad angles though but have two versions of them and I know that might sound like I'm speaking in gibberish but basically you guys understand that we have two marketing angles addressing the price and addressing the trust so you should have two ads that are about discount codes you should have one that save 10% off maybe one that says save 15% off and test which one works better and I know in your mind you're saying Ethan well shooting the 15% one work better you would be surprised you should be testing multiple discount codes because sometimes 10% off actually converts better I don't know why there's no theoretical reason behind it but sometimes it just does so if we are making a retargeting ad for this product right here this modern cyborg deer head what we're gonna want to do is show a new image to our retargeting audience that they haven't already seen so this is a new image they've never seen it before and then with your ad copy you can just talk about the product but at the bottom like we talked about earlier is you want to add a save 10% off using discount code I don't know deer 10 on your first order so I'm gonna write an ad copy you guys can check it out and it's as simple as this just one sentence about the product and then at the bottom save 10% off your first order when using discount code nature 10 at checkout so this is perfect for addressing the main objection people will always have about your price being too high now this is just the first ad handling that objection about the price being too high so what you can do in the second ad is literally just increase the discount code just do say 15% off nature 15 at checkout and then test which one performs better 10% or 15% because sometimes 10% works better and sometimes 15% works better so now that we tackled the objection of the price being too high the next objection people will have is not having enough trust with your brand so how can we tackle that with a retail targeting ad well what we can do is just a quick testimonial ad so right here got a nice testimonial it's a good little picture so what I'm gonna do now that we're in our ads manager is I'm gonna change this image and upload that exact testimonial and all you really have to do is just copy that testimonial on over so as you can see right here great high quality picture and what we're gonna do with the ad copy literally do a quotation mark paste the review have a quotation mark and then at the bottom just do five stars something like that and then the name of the customer and there you go everybody that is the best way to handle the trust objection because if somebody doesn't trust your brand but they see a lot of other people very enthusiastic very happy with their purchase they're saying oh I'm gonna order another one it's just natural in our brain it's the bandwagon effect that we're gonna want to buy it as well because we're seeing third-party social proof from an unbiased source that is raving about your product so now we've covered that the best way to handle the price objection is including a discount code in a retargeting ad so save 10% off your first order using discount code save 10 or do something specific to your brand and then the next objection I don't trust your website we show them a testimonial of a customer loving their product so right here we have a testimonial of one of our customers using our model sort of modern deer head and they love it here's a quote from them and this is a great way to have third-party social proof but let's say for your product you don't have an amazing sparkling review yet and what can we actually do then if these are just really basic reviews what we would do is copy what high smile has done here with having a carousel of happy customers using their product 
and then having a general ad copy that talks about how many people love our product, how it's an amazing product. So for the modern deer head, this is something that's a staple in any modern home for any nature lover. So you just talk about your product, how people are loving it, and then have pictures of the reviews. Oh my goodness, Ethan, how much value can you drop out of one video? How is this even possible, Ethan? You're putting all the gurus out of business. <laughs> For all of you gurus and self-proclaimed experts out there, you better watch out. Sorry, I just really wanted to say that in one of my videos because Kevin Zhang is just the biggest piece of shit ever. But once you're done there, you are going to publish your ad and you're going to basically just duplicate this ad set, which is the 75% video views, and then just put in the new audiences. So you would do an uh, audience for 95%, do it for page view. I mean, let's just get back to our original document. So you'd have all of these audiences right here. Now, if you are running just picture ads for your product and carousel ads, all you're doing is just getting rid of these right here. So you would just have five audiences that you're doing your retargeting for. So a CBO at $100 and page engagement, page view, add to cart, initiate checkout, and top 25% by time spent. I mean, is there anything else I can cover for you? I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much everything you need to know about retargeting, exactly how to set up your campaigns, how to create your audiences, what angles you need to be taking. I mean, guys, that's it. You are a Facebook ads expert now. I should give you a degree from the Ethan Dobbins Facebook ads school of business mastery. And I can guarantee if you take these two ad angles and plug them into a CBO today for your product, you will be making sales. But if you guys enjoyed that video, feel free to slap that like button so freaking hard you need to be like money mayweather out there in the ring you know give it a one two jab and then subscribe if you want more amazing content about how to improve your dropshipping business and if you guys want even more content on facebook ads product research and how to get started with dropshipping i do have a free training down below that you can watch it's about an hour long but it'll give you everything you need to know about dropshipping if you're a beginner or you're looking to scale your business. And if you want personalized access to me in the form of calls, messages, whatever it is along your dropshipping career, because you've got to know that if you are starting dropshipping or anything business related, you need to have somebody guiding you and helping you along the way so that you don't have to waste thousands of dollars doing it the trial and error route because I've done that I've lost tens of thousands of dollars and it's really a pain in the ass when you can just reach out to somebody who's already done all the trial and error for you so if you DM me the word ecom on Instagram I will get back to you about one of my programs where you would get weekly calls with me along with messages well everybody it has been my absolute pleasure to entertain and educate you but you have to remember one thing and I really need you to Lend me your ear here. Stay humble. And do numbers.